Chapter 1, Lesson 2, Ratios. Today you will be able to express ratios and rates as fractions. There are many different ways to compare amounts or quantities. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. A ratio of two red paper clips to six blue paper clips can be written in three ways. It can be written as two to six with the word two. It can be written as two to six with a colon. Or it can be written as two to six or two over six. You can also reduce ratios just like you would reduce a fraction. 2 to 6 reduce, reduces to 1 third, 2 to 6 reduces to 1 to 3, and again 2 to 6 reduces to 1 to 3. Now, I want to make a note that it is okay to have an improper fraction because this is a ratio of two things. If I were to change this to its mixed number of 1 and 2 thirds, it's no longer a ratio. So when we're dealing with ratios, it is okay to have improper fractions. Write the ratio in simplest form that compares the number of suns to the number of moons. It wants suns to moons. Well, there are one, two, three, four suns to one, two, three, four, five, six moons. Oops. You can write this as 4 to 6 this way, or 4 to 6 that way. When we reduce it, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 2 thirds is the ratio, or 2 to 3. The way we explain it is just by writing that in words. There are two sons for every three moons. And the three is coming from there. Now, letter B. Write the ratio of pens to pencils. There are one, two, three, four, five, six pens. Two, three, six, eight pencils, which can be written in this way, as well as a fraction. But of course, we want to reduce. We can divide the numerator and denominator by two, and we would get three fourths. When it says explain the meaning, you are just explaining what the three-fourths means. So, there are three pens for every four pencils. Write the ratio of pennies to dimes. We have three pennies to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dimes. It can be written this way as well, three to nine, or this way, three to nine. We want to make sure we're reducing. We can do that by dividing top and bottom by three. And we get a simplified ratio of one third. And what does this mean? It means there is one penny for every three dimes. Write the ratio of flutes to drums, then explain its meaning. There are four flutes to two drums, which can be written three ways. When you reduce this, divide top and bottom by two, you get two over one. Again, it's okay 
to have an improper fraction when you're talking about ratios. Let's explain its meaning. There are two flutes for every one drum. Use ratios to compare categorical data. Each piece of categorical data can only be assigned to one group. Bar diagrams and frequency tables can be used to represent categorical data. Ratios can be used to compare the data. When we say categorical data, we're talking about categories. So down in letter A, we have peppermint, cinnamon, fruit, and spearmint. We have flavors. They're not numerical values. They are simply just categories or names or titles of things. So letter A, several students name their favorite flavor of gum. Write the ratio that compares the number who chose fruit to the total number of students. And for these examples, I'm just going to stick with fractions, which you could use any way you prefer. Well, there are three fruit, but then it asks for a total. Hmm. When it wants a total, it wants you to add all of the numbers, including that 3. 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. So our total is 21. Our ratio, 3 to 21, can be reduced by dividing the numerator and denominator by 3, which leaves it as 1 to 7. Explain its meaning. There is one fruit flavor for every three students, or seven students. And I know what to use because it asks um, to write the ratio of who chose fruit to the total number of students. So fruit and students. Letter B. Monday's yogurt sales are recorded in the table. Write the ratio that compares the sales of strawberry to the total sales. Then explain its meaning. So we want strawberry to total. Well, strawberry has 8. To find the total, we need to add all of the numbers. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. And 16 plus 8 is 24. I can reduce by dividing numerator and denominator by 8 and getting an answer of 1 third or 1 to 3, which means there is one strawberry, I'm going to abbreviate, I'm running out of room, strawberry flavor for every three yogurts. Letter C. A pet store sold animals listed in the table in one week. Write the ratio of cats to pets sold that week, then explain its meaning. So we want cats to pets. The number of cats is 8. When it says pets, it wants a total. 10 plus 14 is 24. 24 plus 8 is 32. Here we can divide by 8 and get 1 over 4, which means there is one cat for every four pets. Now 
Now letter D is a little bit different. Katie wants to divide her 30 flowers into two groups so that the ratio is 2 to 3. How many flowers are in each group? So if our ratio is 2 to 3, let's draw two boxes and then three boxes. So we have a ratio of 2 to 3. We want a total of 30 flowers. The easiest way to do this is to take your total and divide by the amount of boxes you see. There's one, two, three, four, five boxes. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. And this is 6 in each box. So let's put a 6 in each box. So now to find the total in each group, we just add each row. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. Therefore, there are groups of 12 and 18 flowers.